during this changing world that we're living in are using vices in order to feel comforted, in order to escape the uncertainty that is happening in our world right now. And when we experience uncertainty and we don't know the source of our certainty and that we have absolute faith that I can't see it now, but I know that all is well. And we don't know that source of protection and supply and or how to access it, we feel fear and worry and doubt and a lot of times anxiety. And so in order to try to feel better about ourselves and the world that we're in and what's happening in our world, we naturally want to feel good, right? That, that part of us that is living us, breathing us, our divine self feels good. And we want to feel good. And I want to share that this is the same information that I applied in my own life and that will help you during these seven days because I applied this information to release um, being a smoker. I was, I, I was a pack and a half a day smoker. I, I used this information, this process over 25 years ago. I also applied the same information and got amazing results quitting drinking soda pop for those of you that live in different parts of the uh, country. And um, I used to drink a huge big gulp every day and I haven't touched soda pop um, for over 20 years. I had a huge vice of smoking pot and it was a problem for me. I was a daily, like all day, every day user no longer. I gave up artificial sweeteners about six years ago. It's, it's kind of crazy what I did. I used to take like a small coffee and put five Splendas in it in order to get it sweet enough. I mean, you should have heard people when I ordered it through drive through <laughs> they, were, they were like, five? <laughs> and by applying this information, I have not had a sip of alcohol for two years. Even though I was not a huge drinker, I did drink every single week. It did affect my sleeping. It affected my creativity. It affected my hormones. And I went on cruises, didn't drink. I, you know, went on girls trips and with food and wine pairings, I didn't drink. I've had many lunches and dinners with girlfriends and friends, New Year's, all that kind of stuff, didn't desire to drink. And I went through lockdown without a drop. Not because I said, okay, I can't drink, because I no longer desire it. And that's what we're talking about here is that you have an energy, everything's energy first. That's where the law of attraction comes in, right? This conversation about each of these seven days, we're going to apply to your vices, the seven essential laws. And I, I just don't have a desire anymore because I completely got rid of that connection between feeling better and drinking and knowing where to go, where's my source, right? I've, I've even given up for well over a year now coffee as a vice. I used to drink a lot of coffee. Gone. No desire. Even when I smell it, I'm like, oh, that smells good, but I don't have a desire to go drink it. I just don't desire it anymore. Right? It's not like I have that conversation, you know, the conversation. I don't have that conversation in my mind. You know, the one where you got the devil on one side telling me, oh, just do it. It'll make you feel better. And then the angel on the other side saying, don't do it. Right? Or that mind that tells you, just do it. It'll make you feel better. And then it's arguing with you to do it because you're going to feel better. And then you do it. It's the same mind that says, you big fat dummy, why'd you do that? And then you start beating yourself up. Ask me how I know. Right? I don't have that conversation anymore because I just don't have the desire. I don't even have to make that choice. And that's what I want for each and every one of you. What I did and what I want for you is to stop the struggle, is to stop the constant beating yourself up, stop the feelings of being powerless to these outer vices or 
the inner vices and to stop more importantly than anything to stop using the patterns of emotions of worry and fear and shame and anger as a go-to vice when things come up in your life and to release your pain body so that you actually feel good in your life no matter what's going on in our world that you know how to manage your own energy and become your own energy master. Because when we use vices, we are doing something that is a tool that takes us away from our own ability to master and manage our own energy. So with law of attraction, which is the first law that we're gonna be talking about over these seven days, how does it relate to vices and being a temporary fix? Well, think about this. Law of attraction is one of those universal laws. It's working whether you know about it or not. It's always responding to our vibration. So everything is energy, vibration. All energy carries vibrations. And the vibration that we send out through our thoughts, through our feelings, through our perspective, through our what we say, what we speak, and what, what actions we take, that's how we send out energy to the universe. Law of attraction is always, without question, without exception, responding to our vibration. So if we are in judgment of ourselves, we're beating ourselves up. If we're in pain of any kind, if we're in our pain body, we are attracting from our pain body. It's really important to understand that. But if we're in alignment, if we've released those imprints and those pain bodies that have us reaching for the vices, and we naturally just feel good, if we're in alignment with our good and our light, we're attracting from that part of ourselves. If we're using a vice, we're temporarily trying to get away from our pain and escape, but it doesn't work with law of attraction because the set point is the same. Law of attraction doesn't care that you're using a vice. You're still vibrating in a place of, let's say, shame or your pain. So it's, you're attracting things to you by your pain. And the things that we've been using as a tool actually limits us in some way. That's why I said it actually affects our manifestations. So before we begin the process, every day I'm going to give us a process to do. Today, one of the practices is non-judgment. Like I said, whether you're ready to give up your vice today Keep doing your vice, but do it from a place of non-judgment. If you're ready to get rid of your vice today, perfect, go for it. But for those of you that are like, oh, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I could stop today, then don't. But just do the vice, whether it's watching too much TV or eating snacks or eating sugar or drinking too much, it doesn't matter. Do it from a place of non-judgment. Watch yourself, be present with yourself as you're drinking that seventh cup of coffee, be present with yourself to see how is this affecting my body? Be present with yourself with non-judgment. This is the first place we have to start because every time you judge yourself, you're disconnecting from your divine self, which is your light, which is your love, which is your source of all good things. Because that part of you loves and adores you and never judges you. As we move through this month together, I'm gonna to bring in the, the council to talk more on that and to give you more of that connection to your divine self. But your practice just for today is to practice non-judgment. During this entire process of the seven day vice challenge, and for those of you that are gonna continue with me for the month of July, we'll talk about that in a minute. You can learn more about it going to christywhitman.com forward slash vice freedom. We're gonna be starting today of practicing non-judgment and building on that. 
Because what happens is the, it, the judgment keeps us in that vicious cycle of shame and guilt, right? Say that you're going to smoke something or you're going to drink something, right? And you're like, oh, I'm doing this. And now you're beating yourself up because you're judging yourself that you shouldn't be doing this. That creates more of your shame tank. That fills up your shame tank. So now you're even feeling worse about yourself because you're shaming yourself for something you did. And what do you need to do? You need to go drink more wine or you need to go smoke more because now you're feeling so bad about yourself. You're judging yourself that the only thing that's temporarily taking you away from it for just a moment, whether it's a conscious, like doing drugs or drinking alcohol, like a conscious or an unconscious kind of thing, you're then trying to escape yourself again because you're so filled with judgment. Have compassion for yourself instead of non-judgment and your energy, your connection soars. And so that's what you're then sending out with law of attraction and you'll be attracting more of what you want instead of what you don't want. That's the first key. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to know more, check out the video and the playlist here. Stay tuned for more videos on this and subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified of my uploads. See you next time.